Who is gonna get exposed tonight? Step on that dish. Every Namibian is entitled to my opinion. Guys, why haven't you ordered your mug from me? I'm sure you guys know this, but I, Nabias Hoti, released my own mug line. Yes, my own mug line that you're supposed to sip tea with when you're enjoying my channel. These are the different mugs that I have on my... Uh -huh, that I'm selling. And my, I've got two personal favorites. My two personal favorites is this one right here. The one that says that it's not gossip if it's true. And I'm a messy bitch that lives for drama. Guys, please... Order your mug and enjoy this channel with your oh, what drum and in that mug and what drum motion. Oh. Anyways, if you're in Windook and you want to pick it up, like you order and you pick it up from whatever, it's hundred dollars. Especially if you're schooling at Nasta, Nasta, my company or the company where the things are being whatever, it's right there at Nasta, just from the main gate. It's just a minute walk away from there. Please place your order and come and collect it. And if you're in Windhoek but cannot pick it up from the Nasta place there, it's 135. And if you're outside all over the country, it's 165. $100 for the mug and $65 for Korea. Please support your girl. Anyways, here is a picture of somebody already with their tea enjoying my look at there and here's a video of somebody that in oh, watch it and we'll get into this story someone watch this video of somebody enjoying already. Ugh, anyways, let's yeah. Hey guys, I received my mug yesterday from Nambia's hot tea and I like the fact that I got it immediately the day after I ordered it which in my opinion is really proper serve. I think what shocked me most about this mug is just how glossy it is. It really shocked me. I was like, wow, it's, it's really shiny. And I compared it to the mug I used to drink in and it's definitely the better mug. This mug stands out no matter where you put it. It's well designed. It's an art piece. It just really stands out. If you're one of those people that really want to have a mug that looks unique, then this mug does that exactly. It attracts attention everywhere. It just, it's just, it looks nice everywhere. On the sofa, um, behind, the TV just stands out. You're like, what? Is that a mug on top of the door? You're like, is that a mug in the boxes? You're like, is that a mug? So the mug looks great. So I was like, does it work? Does it do what I need? I put sugar in. I made tea. I was like, meme, when you're going And I tuned into Nambia's hot tea to go see what's up. And it just tasted way better, way different because I have that unique experience having the mug. But thank you. Thank you so much. I'm a satisfied customer. Betty Davids is suing and I'm ex going to explain to you the full drama plus why I support her. Here's the thing. When I initially heard of this story, I was like, no, why is Betty Davids suing? Because it's not like what she's being accused of is uh, whatsoever. We all have heard of those rumors. Huh? We really all have heard of them. And she's a celeb. And she, she should grow a thick skin and toughen up. But when I went through the whole documents the court documents i was like yes i support this girl she should sue this man for all that is worth for all what is worth of shit because this is disgusting no man should go around calling a woman this type of language it's, it's disgusting and it should not be to it should not be tolerated okay here's the thing let me explain to you where this whole thing started you guys know that this poster was released of Betty David having a conversation with Miss this Nangula Gotoshili. And to be honest, I don't understand why people have an issue with Betty David having giving this whatsoever shashi. Betty David is a highly educated woman. Not she has a master's degree. She's she has a master's degree from UCT. UCT is the University of Cape Town and it's the top university in Africa. So she is well educated and knows what she's talking about. But a lot of people are nah, had an issue with that. So one of the people that had the issue with that uh, is this Emmanuel Nashinge. Uh -huh. He's an APC, APC that you know most Itula's party. And to be honest, nee, the last elections I voted for Itula, but now I'm realizing his party is a very hateful party. It is a very hateful party that uh, that is so disgusting, and, and I don't think I'm going to vote for it in the next elections. Actually, what they are doing to people around here. It's disgusting and I hate it. And the worst part about it is that Itula is not... But anyways, this has nothing to do with Itula. Let's continue with the story. Anyways, Ane, there are this Nashinge guy was painted, Okwanyua, he was painted by this poster of 
Betty David having this conversation with Miss Nangula. So he went on WhatsApp and released a very disgusting WhatsApp audio with disgusting languages. Like, no man, I don't care who you are, should call a woman this type of Oshiri. Anyways, let's go through what the court document is saying in the exact language he used. Anyways, what the, whatever he's saying is this. This is the court document. We're going through the court document and then we see what she's suing. This is the whatever the court document. This is between Beata Daindelao Siteka. Siteketa. By the way, that's Betty David sending it. I'm not sure you guys know this, but she's Kavango. Yes, she's Kavango. Her father is Kavango, but her stepfather is the one that's the, with that David sending. Yeah, but yeah, she's a Siteketa. Anyways, and Emmanuel Nashinge. Blah, 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 this, blah, 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 that. And then she says, um, the reason why she's suing, it says, let's just go through here. Um, uh, authored and published following statements about the plaintiff to the effect that the words he said. You see the type of shit I, I speak about? Who is Betty? A kid that is known for sleeping around with older men like Paul Chipoke. Is the type of people our government promotes. Next is Kahuena. Normal people don't matter in this country. This is an indication that the useless investment nonsense in the presidency will be a serious flop. That Nangula woman will regret leaving PWC. We can't be using we can't be using state institutions to promote prostitute. Pro what? How do you call somebody's daughter this type of dirty language? Huh? This is very dirty. This is very, very dirty. And now the reason why Betty Davis is suing is exactly because of that type of dirty language. And let's go through why she's suing. Uh, we said, we, we intend by the defendant to mean and were understood by the person who acquired knowledge, blah, 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 there. It's a high, low moral scruple. It's a prostitute that she is incompetent, unqualified, and is a person who have a profess who has no professional credibility and integrity to participate in a public discussion concerning investment in Namibia. So the appearance by her in the public interview was wrong decision for she has no capacity. She's promiscuous um, and her appearance may scare away investors from investing in Namibia because of her sexual adventures. That, that she is using this in, to promote and I'm glad she is suing. What type of a man uses this type of language with a woman? And, he, and to be honest, men from the other tribe, men from the other tribe think that this is their country. What do call? Because here's the thing. A man can do exactly what Betty David does with her personal life, and a man will be praised. Oh yes, if a man sleep with a thousand women, uh, with a thousand women, and do this and that, uh, a man will be praised and will be called a player, and everybody will be whatever. But the moment a woman does the same thing that a man does, then she get to be called name. Why? Why do we do this to women? And there's obviously nothing wrong with what Betty David is, is doing with whatsoever. And there is. Oh, she me. So I'm so upset that people go around calling people these things. I mean, it really is disgusting. And oh, and what Betty David is suing for, anyways, is what she's asking for. Let's go through what she's asking for. She's saying uh, the claim, the claim, the plaintiff claims for a payment in the amount of four hundred thousand. Interest on the aforesaid amount at the rate of 20% per annum, calculated from the date of judgment, blah, 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 this. And, oh, and I'm like, yes, Betty David, yes, sue this man for all that, for all what is worth. And I hope you get every single cent, man. No man should go around calling women this. If you want to call around women this and that and that, uh, go and call those, go and call your own sister. But you can go, not go around calling women this type of a dirty language. Move it up, oh. And Emmanuel Nashinge, I hope you wrote in hell too. F you fuck man. You cannot go around using this type of languages and calling other people's kids this type of names a man. Let Betty David live her life and enjoy her life. And to be honest, I don't see anything wrong with what Betty David is doing or with what she did with her pasta. She exactly did it the way some of us wish we could. Oh, and it, oh. Anyways, what do you guys think about all this? Are you like me and support David, Betty Davids in this whole thing, or are you whatsoever? Let me know in the comments down below. And by the way, Betty Davids, 
Why did you block Namibia as hottie from being your Instagram, eh? Like, I don't understand why Betty David blocked me. Because she blocked me on Instagram, and I don't understand why. Anyways, what do you guys think about all this? Let me know in the comments down below. If any of you are in possession of that WhatsApp audio, uh -huh, can you please send it to me, to this, to my WhatsApp number, to this WhatsApp number right here. And um, it was about a poster that was posted that I had posted on my Instagram about uh, a conversation with Betty Davis that was happening on Instagram. And then what happened was when somebody posted this um, flyer on their on their WhatsApp group, he made comments about me being a prostitute and things like that. And that got me angry. And that's why I came here because I needed him to clarify and define to me what a prostitute is. I don't like such things, honestly. Uh, you, you are making it Yes, 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 yes. I know. And and what did he say himself? Now he's here. He did um, admit guilt and um, he was fined. Uh, but I'm taking it to to the high court. We are gonna meet there. So I don't have any words for him. He must just talk to my lawyer. When is the high court? Expo, expo, expo.